This is Wobbly Wallaby, and today, we're farming at Moonlight Grotto after the Episode 9 update to see if this is still the best farming map. Episode 9 introduced the combined combat time, which is fantastic for stellar hunters. If you have a character over level 160 on your account, you'll start off with 450 minutes. If you're less than that, then you only get 300. Then you can listen to music for an extra 90 minutes of combat time, and you can eat 6 mentor potions to give yourself an extra 180 minutes of combat time. Altogether, you can get 720 minutes of combat time. I spent the first two days of the update farming in Kamado, and you can see my results from that in this video. After, I wanted to do a quick comparison with Moonlight Grotto. If you want a full guide to Moonlight Grotto farming, please see my previous video. I wanted a build where I could avoid eating B-mills but also get close to the maximum 330% move speed. For cards, I'm using the Dark Shadow card in my Helion bracelet. For armor, I'm using the Archer Skeleton Star card. For garment, I'm using the Celebration Collection card. For the Advanced Tech Teddy shoes, I'm using the Rainbow Fall card. For my Dog Servant, I'm using the Greatest General card. For my bow, I'm using the Magic Pattern card for more move speed. For headgear, I'm using the Mashin Hero Wataru card. And here's my starting Zenny and my bag. I eat 6 original Will Fish Steak for the move speed. With this setup, I get 292.8% move speed. Once one-eyed captain procs, I'll get an extra 30% move speed. Then I go to offline farming. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to red stamina, and I tried pushing it more minutes before the server reset. I stopped it at 821 minutes and wanted to take care of the lucky bags before it reset. Here is my raw zenny and bag. I go to the Yagdrasil tree and buy 97 lucky bags since I got 683 dust in the wilderness. After opening them, I got an extra 2 million zenny. So from one day of farming, I got 13.7 million raw zenny. Here is my summary. I got 11.75 million raw zenny in 821 minutes of combat time. You can keep running it longer to get more zenny. I got enough dust in wilderness to craft 97 lucky bags, which would give a minimum of 970,000 zenny. So at a minimum, you would get 12.72 million raw zenny per day. So where would I farm? When it comes to raw zenny, Moonlight Grotto is still the best. With less combat time, I'm able to get 12.7 million raw zenny versus the 11.1 .1 million zenny from Komodo. I haven't unlocked the map bonuses to give extra zenny or drops in Komodo, so the raw zenny may improve a bit, but I would doubt it could beat Midnight Grotto raw zenny. The Komodo materials will become harder and harder to sell as time goes on, so at a certain point the materials are unsellable, and I think that's one of the great advantages in Midnight Grotto is you never need to sell anything. The biggest problem with Midnight Grotto is how crowded it is. It's only going to get worse as more and more stellar hunters farm there and for longer durations due to the combined combat time. If it's too crowded, then go to Komodo. Luckily, on Global, when I farm before I sleep, it's not too crowded so that works for me. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe.